Hey girls and guys, welcome back to theCUBE. We are live at Stanford University covering the eighth annual Women in Data Science Conference, one of my favorite events. Lisa Martin here. I've got a couple of guests from Total Energies. We're going to be talking all things data science, and I think you're going to find this pretty interesting and inspirational. Please welcome Alexander Le Pen, Tech Advisor Data Science yeah, at sorry. Total Energies. Great to have you. Thank you. And Miriam Fayad is here as well, Product and Value Manager at Total Energies. Mm -hmm. Great to have you guys on theCUBE today. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Thank for, you for it. Yeah. Give the audience, Alexander, we'll start with you, a little bit about Total Energies yeah. so they understand the industry and what it is that you guys are doing. Yeah, sure, sure. So Total Energies, a former Total, so we changed name two years ago. So we're a multi-energy uh, company now, working over um, 130 countries in the world and more than 100,000 uh, employees. So oh we're wow, quite big. a big company. And, uh, and we w if you look at our new logo, you will see there are like seven colors. The, that's the seven energies that we basically, that our business. So you will see the red for, for the oil, the blue for the gas, because we, st we still have, I mean, uh, a lot of oil and gas, but you will see other color like blue for hydrogen, okay. uh, green for, uh, for gas, for, um, Biogas yeah. and, uh, and a lot of other so solar and, so and wind. So we're yeah. definitely a multi-energy company now. Excellent, and you're both from Paris. I'm jealous yeah. I was supposed yeah. to go. I'm not going to be there <laughs> next month. <laughs> Miriam, talk a little bit about yourself. I'd love to know a little bit about your role. You're also a WIDS ambassador this year, yes. which is outstanding. But give us a little bit of your background. Yes, so uh, today I'm a product manager at the Total Energy's uh, Digital Factory. And at the Digital Factory, our role is to develop digital solutions for all of the businesses of uh, Total Energies. Um, and uh, as a background, I did uh, an engineering school. So, uh, and before that, uh, I, I would say I wasn't uh, really aware of, uh, I, I had never asked myself if being a woman could stop me from, being, uh, from doing uh, uh, what I want to do in the professional career. Yeah. Uh, but when I started my engineering uh, school, I started seeing that um, uh, women are becoming I would say increasingly rare in the yes. environment that where I was evolving. Yes. So that's why I was I uh, started to think about uh, about such initiatives, uh, and then when I started working in the tech field, uh, I that confirmed me that uh, women are really rare in the tech field yeah. and in data science field. So uh, and at Total Energi Energies, I met uh, ambassadors of uh, of the WIDS initiatives, and that's how I. Uh, uh, I decided to be a WIDS ambassador too. So our role is to uh, to organize events locally in the countries where we where we work uh, to uh, raise awareness about yeah. uh, the importance of having uh, women in the in the tech and data fields. Uh, and also to talk about the WIDS uh, initiative uh, more globally. Yeah. One of my favorite things about WIDS is it's this global movement. Yeah. It started back in 2015. The Cube has been covering it since then. Mm -hmm. I think I've been covering it for the Cube since 2017. Mm -hmm. wow. It's always a great day full of really positive messages. One of the things that, that we talk a lot about when we're focusing on the Cube on women in tech or women in technical roles is you can't be what you can't see. We mm -hmm. need to be able to see these yeah. role models. Yeah. Yeah. But also, it, we're not just talking about women, we're talking about underrepresented minorities, mm -hmm. we're talking about men like you, Alexander. Talk to us a little bit about what your thoughts are about being at a Women in Data Science Conference and mm -hmm. your, your sponsorship, I'm sure, of, of many women yeah. in Total and other industries that appreciate having you as yeah. a guide. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, First, I'm very happy uh, because I'm, I'm back to Stanford. So I, I did my PhD, my um, postdoc, sorry, with, with Margot. I mean, uh, back in uh, 20, uh, 2010, so okay. like la last decade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a field mechanics person, so I, d I didn't start as a data scientist. But yeah, which is it's always, I mean, a uh, discrete event as you describe it. Yeah. I mean, to, to see, uh, I mean, it's growing every year. I mean, it's fantastic. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's, it's very, um, uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, it's always uh, also good as a man. I mean, to, to be in, uh, in the in the the situation of most of the women in data science conferences. And when Margot she asked at the beginning of the conference, okay, uh, how many men do we have? Okay, can you stand up? Yes, and I saw uh, that. It was a very interesting I because we were, we were like, we were like ten or yeah. maximum. Yeah. And y and y it's, I mean, you feel that I mean, uh, I mean, you, you could feel what what it is to to be a woman in the field. And Absolutely, that, that, that's, yes. That's and you it sounds like you experienced it. I experienced the same thing. Yeah. But one of the things that fascinates me about data science is all of the different real world problems mm. it's helping to solve. Like I keep saying this, we're we're in California. I'm a native Californian, mm. and we've been in an extreme drought for years. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're getting a ton of rain and snow this year. Yeah. Climate change. Yeah. Mm. 
we're not used to driving in the rain, we're not very good at it either, <laughs> but the just thinking about data science as a facilitator of its understanding climate change better, mm -hmm. to be able to make better decisions, predictions, drive better outcomes, right. or things like police violence or healthcare inequities. I think the power of data science to help unlock a lot of the unknown is so great. Mm. Um, and, and we need that thought diversity, Miriam, you were talking about being in engineering. Talk to me a little bit about what projects interest you yeah. with respect to data science and mm -hmm. how you are involved in really creating more diversity in thought. Mm. Um, in fact, at Total Energies, in addition to being an energy company, we're also a data company in the sense that we produce a lot of data in our activities. Yeah. For example, with the sensors uh, on the uh, fuel uh, on the platforms yes. or uh, on, the, on wind turbines, solar panels, and, uh, and even uh, data related to our clients. So um, um, what uh, what is really exciting about being uh, uh, working in the data science field at Total Energies is that we we really feel the, the impact of uh, of the project that we're working on, uh, and we really work with the business to understand their uh, problems yeah. or their issues and try to translate it to a technical problem and to solve it with the data that we have. So that's really exciting to feel the impact uh, of the projects we're working on. So to take an example, maybe, um, we know that uh, one of the challenges of the energy transition is uh, the storage of, um, of uh, energy coming from uh, renewable power. Yes. So um, uh, I w I'm working uh, currently on a project to uh, improve the process of creating uh, larger batteries that will help store this energy uh, by collecting the data and uh, uh, helping the business to improve the process of creating these batteries to make it more uh, reliable and uh, with a better quality. So this is a really interesting project. Uh, we're amazing, on. amazing project. And you know, it's, it's fun, I think, to think of all of the different people, communities, countries that are impacted mm. by what you're doing. Everyone, everyone knows about data. Sometimes we think about it as we're, pay we're always paying for a lot of data on our mm. phone or data mm. rates may apply. Yeah. But we may not be thinking about all of the real world impact that mm. data science is making in our yeah. lives. We have this expectation in our personal lives that we're connected 24-7. Yeah. I can get whatever I want from my phone, wherever I am in the world, yeah. mm. and that's all data driven. And we expect that if I'm dealing with Total Energies or a retailer um, or a car dealer, that they're going to have the data, the data to have a personal conversation, conversation with me. Mm. We have this expectation. I don't think a lot of people that aren't in data science or technology re realize mm. the impact of data all around their mm. lives. Alexander, talk about some of the interesting data science projects that you're working on. Uh, there's one that uh, I'm working uh, right now. So I, as tech advisor, I mean, uh, I'm not the one directly working on okay. it, but we have, you know, uh, we, we're from the digital factory where we, we make digital products. Okay. And we, we have different squads. I mean, it's a group of different uh, people with different uh, skills. And uh, one of one of the, the squad, they're, they're, they're working on, the on, on a project that is about uh, uh, safety. Uh, we have a lot of uh, sites, work, work sites on uh, over the world where we deploy solar panels on, uh, on parkings, on, on buildings, uh, okay. everywhere. Yep. And there is, um, I mean, a huge, uh, I mean, uh, uh, but uh, I mean, we, we have a lot of, of workers and uh, in terms of safety, we want to make sure they, they, they work uh, safely and, uh, and we want to prevent accidents. So what we, what we do is we, we develop uh, some computer vision approach to help them at improving, you know, the the, the, the way they work. I mean, the, the basic things is is detecting detecting some equipment like the the the, the I mean the the, the, the vest and, and so on. Uh, but we 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 we're working we're working to really uh, extend that to more uh, concrete uh, recommendation, and uh, that's one a very exciting uh, project yeah. because it's very concrete. Yeah. And also, I, I'm coming from the R and D of the company. That's one that's one of these projects that started in R and D and okay. is now into the digital factory and it will become a real product deployed over the world on, on our assets. So that's very The great. influence and the impact that data can have on every business always is something that yeah. we could talk about that for a very long time. Yeah. But one of the things I want to address is there, I'm not sure if you're familiar with anitab.org, the Grace Hopper Institute. Mm -hmm. It's here in the States. Mm -hmm. And they do um, this great event every year. It's very pro women in technology and technical roles. They do a lot of, of survey, of, of studies, mm. so they have data 
demonstrating where are we with respect to women in technical roles. And we've been talking about it for years. It's been for a while hovering around 25% of technical roles are held by women. Mm -hmm. I noticed in um, the need2be.org research findings from 2022, it's up to 27.6%, I believe. So we're seeing those numbers slowly go up. But one of the things that's a challenge is attrition of women getting in the roles and then leaving. Mm. Miriam, as a woman in, in technology, what inspires you mm. to continue doing what you're doing and to elevate your career in data mm. science? Uh, what motivates me is that data science, we really have to look at it as a mean to solve a problem and not yeah. a, a find uh, a goal in itself. So uh, the fact that we can apply data science to so many uh, fields and so many different projects. Uh, so here, for example, we took uh, examples of more industrial maybe applications. But for example, recently I worked on uh, on a study, on a data science study to understand what, uh, to, to, uh, to analyze Google reviews of our clients on the service stations and to see what are the, the topics that, uh, that are really important to them. So we really have a, a, a large range of uh, topics and uh, a diversity of topics that yeah. are really interesting. So and that's so important, the diversity of topics yeah. alone. There's, I think we're just scratching the surface. We're yeah. just at the very beginning of mm. what data science can empower mm. for our daily lives, for businesses, small businesses, large businesses. I'd love to get your perspective as our only male on the show today. <laughs> Alexander, you have that um, elite title. The theme of International Women's Day this year, which yeah. is today, March 8th, is embrace equity. What is yeah. that? When you hear that theme as, as a male in technology, as a male in Mm. The op in a role where you can actually elevate women and really bring in that thought diversity. What is embracing equity, what does it look like to you? I, to me, uh, it, it's really, I mean, uh, because we, we always talk about how we can, you know, uh, I mean, uh, improve, but actually we, we are fixing a problem, an issue. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's such a reality. I mean, uh, and the, the reality and, uh, and, I mean and for us in, in the company, and that's, I think, in Total Energy, we. We still have, uh, I mean, things. I mean, we ha we haven't reached our objective, mm. but we're working hard, and especially at the digital factory to uh, to to improve on that. And for example, we have uh, forty percent of our women in tech. I forty. Mean, forty mm. percent of our tech uh, people that are women. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's You're I mean way ahead of uh, yeah, the yeah, global yeah, average. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's outstanding. Th and we're, we're quite proud of that. You should be. But we we still we still know that we we have uh, at least ten percent because yes. it's no, yes. not fifty. The target the target is to. 50 or more, mm -hmm. and, uh, and but I want to insist on the fact that we are, f we are correcting an issue, we are fixing an issue, yeah. we're not trying to improve something. I mean, that's, that's important to have that in mind. Yeah. It is, absolutely. Yeah. Miriam, I'd love to get your advice to your younger self. Before you studied engineering, obviously you had an interest when mm. you were younger. What advice would you give to young Miriam now, looking back at what you've accomplished mm -hmm. and being one of our female uh, visible females in a technical role. What do you? Mm. What would you say to your younger self? Uh, maybe I would say to continue as I started. So as I was saying at the beginning of the interview, um, when I was at high school, I've never felt like being a woman could stop me from doing anything. Yeah. So maybe to continue uh, thinking this way, uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, to to stay uh, to to continue this way. Yeah. That's excellent. It sounds like you have the confidence. Mm, yeah. And that's something that, that a lot of people, st I struggled with it when I was younger, have mm. the confidence, can I do this? Yeah. Should I do this? Yeah. And you kind of went, why not? Yes. Which is, that is such a great message to mm. get out to our audience and to everybody else. It's just, mm. I'm interested in this, I find it fascinating, mm. why not me? Yeah. yeah. Right? Mm. Yeah, sure. And by, by bringing out, I think, role models as we do here at the conference, it's a, it's a way to, uh, to, to help uh, young girls to uh, be inspired and yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. We need to have women in leadership positions that we can see. Mm. Because there's a saying here that we say a lot in the States, which is you can't be what you can't see. Yeah, that's true. And so we need more women and, and men yeah. supporting women and underrepresented mm. minorities. Mm. And the, the great thing about WIDS is it does just that. Mm. 
So we thank you so much for your involvement in WIDS. Ambassador, our only male on the program today, Alexander, yeah. we thank you. <laughs> I'm very proud of it. <laughs> awesome to hear that Total Energies has about 40% of females in technical roles, mm -hmm. and you're on that path to 50% yeah. or more. We, we yeah. look forward to watching yeah. that journey, and we thank you so much for thank joining you. us on the show today. Thanks for Thank that. you. All right. Thanks, for my guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from Stanford University. This is our coverage of the eighth annual Women in Data Science Conference. We'll be back after a short break, so stick around.